Unit 5. Illiteracy. Part A. By July 2000, 61 provinces and cities throughout Vietnam had completed the programs of universalization of primary education and illiteracy eradication. However, by that time, only 94% of the population was able to read and write. This meant that more work had to be done to eradicate illiteracy in the country. In the summer of 2000, the Vietnam Society of Learning Promotion started a campaign for illiteracy eradication. In the campaign, 600 ethnic minority students from the Northern Highlands were asked to provide reading and writing skills to 1,200 illiterate people living in their home villages. By 2001, 800 volunteer students took part in the campaign. The number of people receiving reading and writing lessons reached 4,623. This was an effective way to help people in remote and mountainous areas to read and write. Those students who took part in the fight against illiteracy consider it an honorable job to help people in their home villages. They voluntarily spend their summer vacations teaching illiterate people to read and write. Some even prepared relevant materials for their classes. They talk about new farming techniques and family planning. Before they left, they promised to come back the next summer. The fight against illiteracy continued in the summer of 2002. This time, the Vietnam Society for Learning Promotion decided to expand its activities to the central mountainous provinces. At present, the number of illiterate people in the remote and mountainous areas is gradually decreasing. It is hoped that illiteracy will soon be eradicated in our country as more and more people are taking part in the struggle against it. Task 1. Listen and choose the best option to complete the following sentences. In an informal survey carried out in Perth, western of Australia, students were asked to give their views on what makes an effective school. 80% of students felt that mutual respect in the classroom was essential for effective learning to take place. This implied that the students should be treated as individuals with both their strengths and weaknesses. 60% of the students felt that they should be encouraged to set realistic goals for their own learning and to have positive attitudes towards themselves and others. About 55% of the students expected their teachers to be motivated and interested in what they were doing. This would then reflect in the performance of the students. Nearly all the students believed that learning should be centered on important life skills such as communication, building self-respect and self-confidence, the ability to learn from failure, and time management suited to the maturity of students concerned. 100% of the students felt that the social side of school was as important as academic activities. The older students felt that they should be allowed to give some input into school decision making, which had a direct effect on students. Complete the following sentences. In an informal survey carried out in Perth, Western of Australia, students were asked to give their views on what makes an effective school. 80% of students felt that mutual respect in the classroom was essential for effective learning to take place. This implied that the students should be treated as individuals with both their strengths 
and weaknesses. 60% of the students felt that they should be encouraged to set realistic goals for their own learning and to have positive attitudes towards themselves and others. About 55% of the students expected their teachers to be motivated and interested in what they were doing. This would then reflect in the performance of the students. Nearly all the students believed that learning should be centered on important life skills such as communication, building self-respect and self-confidence, the ability to learn from failure, and time management suited to the maturity of students concerned. 100% of the students felt that the social side of school was as important as academic activities. The older students felt that they should be allowed to give some input into school decision making, which had a direct effect on students. Part C. Listening. Listen and repeat. Effective. Self-respect. Maturity. Academic. Weaknesses. Perth. Performance. Western Australia. Part C. Listening. Listen and repeat. Effective. Self-respect. Maturity. Academic. Weaknesses. Perth. Performance. Western Australia. Part E. Language focus. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Please. Pleasure. Play. Plenty. Black. Blouse. Blue. Blow. Pride. Pretty. Precious. Practice. Brown. Bread. Brother. Broad. Practice reading aloud the dialogue. Brian, what is Breddy presenting on Sunday? She'll teach us how to play English pronunciation games. Are you going to prepare for it? Yes. My brother is going to play the guitar and I'll sing the blues. What clothes are you going to wear? Pretty? Black, brown, blouse and jeans. How about a small present for Bretty after her presentation? Please bring something not very precious. Part E. Language Focus Pronunciation Listen and repeat. Please. Pleasure. Play. Plenty. Black. Blouse. Blue. Blow. Pride. Pretty. Precious. Practice. Brown. Bread. Brother. Broad. 
practice reading aloud the dialogue. Brian, what is Bready presenting on Sunday? She'll teach us how to play English pronunciation games. Are you going to prepare for it? Yes. My brother is going to play the guitar and I'll sing the blues. What clothes are you going to wear? Pretty? Black, brown blouse and jeans. How about a small present for Bretty after her presentation? Please bring something not very precious.